Spatchcock Funk here, and we're not gonna wing it. We're gonna make a really precise dish sponsored by our friends at Tessie Plastics. For 50 years since Henry Beck came over from Germany and made this thing, this company's taking care of people all around the world, but it's actually here in central New York. So we're gonna make a dish that's unique and different like they are, and strong and meaty and powerful. So these are pig wings. Now, y'all love chicken wings, and you know we love chicken wings. In fact, my body is like 24% chicken wing from what I understand. But a pig wing actually is a really great way to change up something while you're grilling. You can fry them too, just like chicken wings. They cook the exact same way and are served the same way. And they're a fun, unique thing, so it's great to have at a party. Something different and fun and unique and special, just like Tessie Plastics. So what a pig wing actually is, it's a shank, a pig shank, that's cut and on the size of a chicken wing, so you have meat on the bone. Some people will use the shoulder joint, right? So it looks like that, but Roland Beck said he didn't wanna be the biggest, he wanted to be the best. So these are big, but they're not the best one. Another option is people will use a picnic cut, which is basically chopped up off the bone pieces of pork. You can use these too. Both of these work, you'll get some meat and you'll get the same flavor, but we're not gonna roll that either. We're gonna use actual cut shanks, so they look like flats of chicken wings. And they're meaty, but they're gonna tighten up a little bit on the bone. We've already par-cooked these in an oven at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes. Before we put them on the grill, we're gonna take them out, and the way we're doing it is you can use buffalo seasoning, buffalo sauce, whatever you wanna do, a traditional wing sauce. We're doing ours with a jalapeno wing sauce that's really awesome. It's not too spicy. There's some heat in it, but it's also really sweet. But first, we're gonna use some adobo seasoning, and this is basically garlic powder, garlic salt, turmeric, which makes it really different. And it's a fun thing that you can find in the store. You can make it yourself, but it gives you a little, little flavor and adds a little bit of something sweet to the crust. Let's go to the grill. The key to good wings is a good sauce. If the wings are cooked right, that is, and obviously they're gonna cook right. What we're gonna make is a jalapeno sauce that's sweet and it's not too spicy. So first, we're gonna start with a stick of butter, aka a quarter cup. Once the butter is browned, we're gonna add in four cloves of minced garlic. And we're gonna get that going until the garlic itself starts to get cooked, but not overcooked. I've got our garlic really well mixed in with the brown butter. We're gonna put in a quarter cup, really finely minced pickled jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos aren't as hot as when they're fresh. So this we're gonna keep going now until it starts to kind of really get dissolvey and then get kind of liquidy in there. Now any barbecue sauce you're gonna use typically has these two ingredients in it. We've got three quarters of a cup of just good old ketchup that we're gonna mix in there. And one tablespoon of brown sugar packed. What that's gonna do is create a bit of a sweetness to it. So we're gonna stir that up a little bit, but before we do, we're also gonna add in one tablespoon of Tabasco. You can use a little bit less, but this again doesn't create a lot of heat. What it does is it creates a lot of volume and some acidity to bring out the other flavors that are in the dish. Yeah, after a few minutes, look at this. The sauce is perfectly thick. We can move it with a spatula and see the bottom of the pan. So we good to go right now. Now we've got these beautiful, charred just right pig wings. They've been flavored, we're ready to go. Now the thing is too, like a chicken wing, like any piece of meat, anything really, it's always better with a bone in. It allows more flavor to come through and things just feel better that way. So when you're saucing any wings, take a big metal bowl, but don't put all the sauce in at once. There's nothing worse than over sauced wings. So we're gonna take in about two quarter cup, so a half cup of sauce into our bowl. Then we're gonna put our wings in. And we're gonna toss with the sauce until we get them all evenly coated. Now, these are pretty awesome, but they're not the best. And like Roland said, he wants to be the best. Over at Tessie, they got the best people. We've partied with them. They know how to eat, they know how to cook, they know how to work, and they know how to be good to each other. And these wings are gonna be great to whoever you give them to and I'm eating these, so that's what's up. Now, we've got them good and adequately sauced. So for us, it's pretty simple what comes next. Let's start plating these beauties. Oh, they got the sauce on. They looking right, looking tight. Looks like after a hard day's work, y'all. Feeling good. What we like to do with anything that's been sauced, we're gonna take a combination of cilantro and green onion and sprinkle them over the top because it just gets a nice little pop of color on each one of these bad boys and the flavor is nice too with it. Got some blue cheese we whipped up and we're just gonna eat it like a chicken wing. Mm. 
from your bestie Spashcock and your friends at Tessie. That's what's up. Pig wings. Dope food plus strong drinks equals great stories. Subscribe now for more recipes and bad jokes.